Hey everyone, it's Dr. Oob. I want to talk about our IV detox package today and some of the components in the detox package and why you might want to use an intravenous detox package. As many of you know, the liver is the primary detox organ, but the liver doesn't operate for free. It needs certain things in order to detoxify. Things like vitamins, B-complex, magnesium, vitamin C, uh, glutathione. It needs all these components in order to do its job. It also needs these components to power its energy pathways because as many of you already know, know, the detoxification pathways require energy in order to detoxify. Many people get wrapped into the fact that we live in a toxic society, we, can, we consume all these toxic chemicals, but we forget that your liver has to detoxify its own bodily processes. Anything that makes energy makes entropy or makes byproducts of that energy metabolism, and those byproducts have to be detoxified, so to speak. So we use the word detoxify fairly loosely in medicine. In this regard, we're gonna be talking about mainly organic chemicals that your body creates and organic chemicals that we're exposed to on a daily basis. So whether whether you realize it or not, we do live in a toxic society. We're constantly exposed to new chemicals and the government is doing very little to regulate these chemicals that are being released into our environment every day. So I don't want to get bogged down with that, but mainly I want to talk about how your body detoxifies and how you can use these IV components and then we'll go through each of these IV components. So your body uses the liver as the primary detox organ. The toxins circulate your bloodstream, so whether it's your muscles, uh, your kidneys, your brain making toxins, the, those toxins get dumped into your uh, bloodstream and then the bloodstream goes to the liver and the liver filters the blood and then tries to detoxify these chemicals. One of the main pathways that is used in this detoxification is called the methylation pathway. Many people already know about it. They know the MTHFR enzyme prevents them from methylating folic acid, and that slows down their methylation pathway. But the COMT enzyme, which I've talked about in other videos, is responsible for demethylation. It is a critical step in the methylation pathway in order to make glutathione. Glutathione is the main detoxifying component that your body uses every day in order to get rid of its own chemicals as well as the toxins that it's exposed to. So many of the nutrients that I've decided to use in my intravenous detox package is designed to make more glutathione, support the methylation pathway in order to keep the liver optimized and adequately getting rid of these toxins. The way the toxins get out of your system is also important and we're not going to discuss too much of that in this because we're talking about the IV package but you must be pooping, sweating, and urinating in order to get rid of the toxin that your liver is detoxifying. So your liver does not have an outlet. It is uh, inside of your body so your liver can make uh, toxins water soluble so that you can pee them out or that you can sweat them out. Fat soluble ones it tries to get through the bile and the gallbladder so it tries to make bile out of, uh, scratch that. The liver, when it detoxifies fat-soluble toxins, one of the ways it dumps it is it dumps it into the biliary tract or bile production tract. Now, you may not have a uh, functioning gallbladder because it may have been re removed in surgery, but your liver can still detoxify and dump things into the biliary tract. The gallbladder helps you store the bile and break down foods, and it is important, but not necessarily for this particular point right here. So if the liver doesn't have enough nutrients to make energy, and if it doesn't have enough nutrients to detoxify, then it can't do its job adequately adequately and it starts harboring toxins. You may not know this, that your fat cells serve as um, kind of storage space for toxins. One of the speakers at IFM, the conference I go to, he likes to say that humans are rent-free storage for these chemicals that are created by the chemical industry. And the idea is that if you're struggling with weight loss, one of the reasons can be because you're toxic. And this toxic is because you're storing toxins inside your fat cells. So when you drop five pounds, 10 pounds, you can do it fairly quickly, but then you lose motivation, you lose energy, and then all of a sudden you put those five to 10 pounds back on. This yo-yo dieting, so to speak, is because we're failing to detoxify the system so that when you lose all those fat cells, those fat cells dump the toxins that they were storing inside them into the bloodstream, and those toxins eventually bog down the liver, bog down the brain, you get sluggish and you fall back into old ways because there's only so much white knuckle power you can go through to be hungry and starving and feeling bad before those you start gaining the weight back and as soon as you gain the weight back those toxins kind of fall back into the fat cells so your fat cells are rent-free storage the main reason we use fat cells instead of our water cells as toxin storage is because the toxins that are the hardest to get rid of are fat soluble 
our water soluble toxins are fairly to get are fairly easy to get rid of we drink water you urinate it out you sweat it out no big deal those are much easier to get rid of the fat soluble ones not so easy they like to stick to our fatty membranes and our fatty cells so those are harder to get rid of. That is one of the reasons why glutathione is used by the human body. Glutathione is used to attach itself to a fat soluble toxin that makes it water soluble. As you can see, this is very water soluble and that's why we can inject it in an IV. It's water soluble and that helps you get rid of that toxin. So why should I get intravenous um, detox infusions or why should I worry about detoxification in general? So we've already talked about being a toxic society and you may not realize it, but you're exposed to toxins every day in your food if you're not eating organic foods. If you grew up on the standard American diet of highly processed foods, um, tons of wheat and dairy products, then and those dairy products are from cows that are raised in toxic fashion, well, breast milk from the cow, or milk as you know it, is one of the ways the cow detoxifies. So we struggle to get rid of fat soluble toxins. We talked about that already. And so when a cow actually makes milk, milk is fairly fatty. And so a lot of those fat soluble toxins end up in the milk. So as you're drinking the milk, you're getting whatever toxins the cow was eating. Um, as Dr. Hyman likes to say, you are not what you eat, you are what your food eats. And so if your food is eating toxic substances, then you're eating that food and you're eating those toxic substances. So one of my patients made the impression upon me that you never know where you are exposed to chemicals and toxins. He talks about when he was a child, he used to ride his bicycle behind the mosquito spraying, spraying truck and, and hang out in the fog and play in the fog and him and his buddies would race to see who could keep up with a mosquito sprayer for the longest time. Now, I don't know if you know this, but 30, 40 years ago, the mosquito spray that people were using and even nowadays, questionably safe, but back then, 30, 40 years ago, was DDT and it was definitely not safe. safe very poisonous and very difficult for your body to get rid of. They've proven that it's very difficult for humans to get rid of DDT. So now I wanna move into more of the intravenous detox package, why we use these and what we use. So I've created a 10 step protocol to take people through raising doses to make sure they can tolerate each of the components. And if they're gonna have any issues with that component that, they, that we know it at the lower dose before we go to the higher doses. My IV packages include higher doses than most offices give on a regular basis and even more than we give on our standard infusion protocols or infusions if you came in and asked for one. So these take your doses up to therapeutic or prescription levels. So let's start with the basics. The most important portion, which I've already been holding for a while, is called the Myers Cocktail. This Myers Cocktail is an old blend made by Dr. Myers decades ago. No one knows his original formulation, but the standard is magnesium, vitamin C, B complex, and B12. This makes up a Myers Cocktail and we put it in an IV bag and it drips into you. The Myers Cocktail is mainly designed to boost your methylation pathway give your methylation pathway all the components it needs to power the detoxification methylation pathway. It's also got the extra magnesium to help power your energy pathways and the vitamin C to help boost immune system. So vitamin C is also a chelator and a detoxifier by nature. So that's one of the reasons it's also in the Myers cocktail. It's not the most powerful chelator as some of the EDTAs and DMPS, the other drugs out there, but it's one of the ways to boost your own body's ability to chelate. So with these IV vitamins, you can get the B vitamins that you need. Many people in America have yeast overgrowth. And if you have yeast overgrowth, then you primarily suffer from B vitamin deficiency because those yeast um, organisms get the first dibs on your food before before you can absorb them. So we frequently do organic acid testing in our patients and find out that yeast overgrowth coincides almost always with B2 deficiency. B2 is riboflavin, and if you can see the little yellow color to the, the B complex, one of the reasons it's got that yellow color is because of riboflavin. So if you've ever taken a B complex and you urinate out yellow, um, really yellow urine, then that's the riboflavin getting activated by your body and you're urinating it out. Now to see water soluble vitamins so it doesn't stay around forever, that's one of the reasons why you see it in your urine. Doesn't mean you wasted it, it means it might've gotten put to use and then urinated out. So frequently people have low B2 levels uh, if you have yeast overgrowth and that's a separate topic. So the Myers cocktail helps power the methylation cycle. The next component I wanna make sure we talk about is the high dose vitamin C that we do in our detox pathways. This is designed to give the liver more substrate to work on detoxification and improve the liver's ability to uh, methylate and 
create glutathione. So we do a vial of vitamin C with most of our detox pathways. A vial, as you can tell, is a much larger dose than the vitamin C that normally comes in a Myers cocktail. So this is the vitamin C in the Myers cocktail. You can see it's got a little yellow hue to it, not nearly as much as the B complex. This is a vitamin C vial. So it's something like 10 times as much in the vial as you would get in the Myers cocktail. And so that extra vitamin C once again helps power the liver. Those two components are mainly geared to power the glutathione production. Methylation cycle creates glutathione. Now glutathione isn't the only thing that's created by the methylation cycle. It's got to create a lot of other components that are needed as byproducts in the detoxification pathway. So one of the additional things we do and the primary ingredient in our detoxification and IV package is glutathione by itself. So this is reduced glutathione. It is a clear substance, fairly innocuous looking, but this glutathione is one of the most powerful things your body makes every day. When your body's healthy, it makes about 14,000 milligrams per day, and this one vial is 2,000 milligrams. In our detox pa packages, we get up to 4,000 milligrams in a, uh, a single infusion. So that's almost a third or almost a half of your, your body's daily production of glutathione. The idea is by infusing a lot of glutathione, you get this surge of glutathione, and that surge helps attach itself to toxins, chemicals, anything in your body that may not want to be there, heavy metals, and try to urinate them out or help the give, give the liver the substrates it needs to attach glutathione to fat-soluble toxins to get rid of it through the bile or wherever it needs to get rid of. So glutathione is one of the main components in the IV package. However, as I just mentioned, glutathione is used and burned kind of like a kamikaze chemical. So one of the second components, or this is the third component, one of the third components of our IV packages, and maybe the most important, even more important than glutathione, is alpha lipoic acid. Now, there's a lot of um, talk around alpha lipoic acid and blood sugar management, and it does help with blood sugar and diabetes. But primarily, we use alpha lipoic acid to regenerate glutathione. So glutathione is used, it donates electrons, it donates itself to make um, chemicals water soluble. But once it gets used, it can't be reused. So alpha lipoic acid is used in order to regenerate the glutathione. So the first portion of the IV detox package is to raise glutathione levels with the methylation support from the myers cocktail cocktail, the extra glutathione infused, and then finally to get alpha lipoic acid at very high doses to help regenerate the glutathione so it's one and done, We are so it's not one and done. So we've powered your glutathione production and we're helping you get more utility out of that glutathione that you've already made. So that's the main components in the detoxification pathway, but one of the things we can't ever forget about is the phosphatidylcholine, the lipid therapy as I like to call it. The idea is that your cell membranes are being damaged by these chemicals that are creating oxidative stress. They're burdening your mitochondria, which are the energy producing organelles inside of the cell. And I talked about that in the mitochondria package in a little more detail. But every cell wall has a fatty membrane and that fatty membrane can be damaged over time by these chemicals that create oxidative stress. So in our detox package, we do a small amount of phosphatidylcholine, and this phosphatidylcholine helps regenerate your cell walls and helps regenerate your mitochondria. Now, if you've had a lot of oxidative damage, a lot of um, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction and damage, then I would typically recommend you start with our mitochondrial package, and that's the big difference between the mitochondrial package and the detox package. They both have very similar components, but in the mitochondrial package, we heavily focus on um, cell wall regeneration and mitochondrial regeneration. In order to adequately detoxify, you must make energy. So if your energy pumps are broken, then the detox package may not be the place to start and may be better to start with the mitochondrial package. That being said, if you can clear out your, your toxins and reduce your oxidative stress, you'll also activate your energy pumps. So it's up to your doctor and you for, for y'all to decide what's the best way to start with the lipid therapy and, power and boosting some of those energy pumps or getting rid of the toxins and powering the detox pathways. The last component I'll mention is a small component. It's called trace minerals. And these trace minerals, if I can grab the vial, these trace minerals are things like zinc, selenium, manganese. We give these IV because most people that are struggling to detoxify are struggling to absorb their nutrients, and you never know which trace minerals you might be missing. So this is included in the package in order to make sure you are getting an adequate amount of trace minerals because all kinds of chemical reactions around your body require trace minerals, and you can only move as fast as your slowest moving part. What that means is if you're missing selenium in a 10-step reaction and only one reaction requires selenium, then that pathway can only move as fast as the amount of selenium you have. 
the, the easy metaphor there is you can have a Ferrari in the parking lot, but if you've got a square wheel or a flat tire on any of the wheels, you're not going to go very fast. You're not going to go very far. So you can only move as fast as your slowest moving component. So that's the basics of our detox package. We do our packages in uh, infusions of 10, and the first time you do the package is designed to walk you through each component to make sure you can tolerate each component at raising dosages. And then if you choose to continue it further, we continue selling them in packages of 10. But now that we know that you can uh, achieve the higher dosages, you pretty much start at that higher dose and move forward. So hopefully this answers some of your questions about why use IV nutrients, why do the IV detox package. If um, you have any more questions, please reach out to us on Facebook, YouTube, or however you like. See you around.